creations. If you're new to my channel and you're stopping by for the first time, thank you for stopping by. Welcome to my channel. Stick around a while by clicking that red button for more crafting on a budget, more everything on a budget videos to come. And if you click it again when the bell appears, YouTube should notify you every time I upload a new video, depending on the option that you choose in the drop down menu of the bell. If you're interested in following me on social media, you can find those links in the description box below. So what do I have going on for you for today? Today, I am bringing to you another one of those DIY soap bars that I brought to you last month. This is a subscription box that I just recently started getting and it is by Craftica. And each month, they send me all of the makings to make two amazing bars of soap, DIY bars of soap. Now, yes, this is melt and pour, but to me, melt and pour is just as fun. It's quicker, it's easier, and I'm still crafting, I'm still making soap, and these soap bars make for an amazing gift to give. Last month, I received my first subscription box of the soap, and as I learned from the first bar, once I made the second bar, it came out amazing. This was really easy to do, and so I'm excited to see what Craftica has in store for me and what soap I'll be making with all of the items that they give me to make it. That's what's great about this subscription box, is they give you everything. They give you the scent, they give you the color, the glycerin soap, nothing else needed to make these and so i'm excited to see what they have in store for me this month so let's not waste any more time let's jump into it and let's make a couple bars of soap because why not it's fun it's different it's crafting on a budget Alrighty, so getting started here is the soap box how fun is this diy soap box by craftica Opening it up, let's take a look at what they provide you with for the month of December. We've got these adorable snowman gift tags. How cute are these if you wanted to gift these? We've also got a bag of the clear glycerin soap. And this is a lot of soap. Last month, I was able to do four bars of soap, not just two. They also provide you with the soap molds. This is a poinsettia, absolutely gorgeous. How fun and festive for December. We've got some white solid soap. Not sure of the exact name of this, but I'm gonna call it white solid soap. We've also got another soap mold here. This is soap mold number two, and how stinking cute is this? It is a reindeer with holly and berries. I love this. This looks like it's gonna be so much fun. And they also provide you with several different colors, scents, and glitters that are packaged in these individual Ziploc baggies. These colors are wrapped in, I guess, bubble wrap to help so they don't break apart and spill within the box. I love that they did this because in the first box, I had some leakage in my Ziploc baggies, and so it's good to see that they have changed it so when you're getting your soap box, your colors aren't broken. Now that literally is a handful of colors and scents. They provide you with two transfer tubes for your soap and four wood stirring sticks. And because this can get a bit messy with the dye, they've provided some gloves. Now let's make some soap. I'm going to start off with two blocks of the glycerin and I'm going to put it in a microwave safe bowl. Then I'm going to microwave it in 10 second increments. You don't want to do much more than that because this soap melts pretty quickly. Then I'm going to take some of the red dye that was provided to us and I'm going to put just a couple of drops in with the soap and using my wood stirrer I'm going to mix until it's well blended. I'm going to start off with the red because the red seems to be some of the deeper parts of the mold and that's really how you want to do these soap molds is starting off with the deepest part of the mold and building your way up. And so these transfer tubes are perfect for that because you don't need a lot of soap at one time. And so just by simply, I guess, sucking up some of the soap into the transfer tube, you can gently just kind of place the soap where you need it to be. And so I will tell you that as you do this, you may need to stop and start several times to remelt your soap. When remelting your soap, you only want to do it for about four or five seconds because it remelts pretty quickly, but it also solidifies pretty quickly as well. And so you can see that I'm doing all the red areas of my mold first, which are the Santa hat, the holly berries, and um, 
I started off doing the nose red, but I later decided I didn't like it red and I ended up taking it out. And if you make mistakes, it's pretty easy to fix it because once the soap solidifies, you can just take your wooden stirrer and on one end, it's kind of a pointed end and you can just pop the soap right out. You can also scratch it if you've gone out of the area that you place the soap. Like in my case here, I'm doing the berries. If I were to put it where the holly leaves go, you could very easily just kind of scratch it out or pop it out. I'm seeing that there's also a scarf around the reindeer's neck, so I'm gonna go ahead and do that red too. This really is not hard to do. I will tell you though that when working with the soap, you should have an isopropyl alcohol on hand in a mister bottle. I don't have a mister bottle on hand and because there is a stay at home order in my area, again, I'm not going out for more than just the necessities. And so I do wanna show you that you can see that the soap has solidified and this is what you should be left with. Now I'm gonna work on the eyes and for the eyes, I'm going to use the white soap and I'm gonna add just a couple dots of the brown. I'm gonna start off a bit light and I think I'll work my way up later, but you can see just how easily the soap mixes and I did take the nose out. You can see the nose is gone because I didn't like it red and so I decided that I would try to go with a darker brown. And so again, I'm just gonna transfer my soap using the transfer tube and place it in the areas. And with the brown, I decided to go with the antlers being brown, the nose and the eyes. I wanted to show you a quick trick because you're only given two of these plastic transfer tubes. When you're done using a color before the soap hardens, if you just take your finger and slide it down the transfer tube to get that excess soap out, you'll be able to use your transfer tube more than just for that one color. But if you leave it in the transfer tube, it does harden and your transfer tube is no longer. Now I'm gonna make my brown just a bit darker. And so to do that, I'm gonna add a couple more dots of the brown coloring and mix it. And I thought that I would build up the reindeer's face in a darker way. I wish I would have done it vice versa, done the nose and the eyes and the antlers darker and then done the face a lighter brown. But what's done is done. I'm just gonna go with it. You live and you learn. This is just meant to be fun. And so again, you can see that I'm gonna go ahead and fill in the brown areas with the brown soap. And I'm not doing the whole soap, I guess, uh, mold. You can see that I'm just building it up because I still have the green holly berries that I need to do, or the green holly leaves, not the berries. And so I'm gonna go ahead and let this solidify and I'm gonna remelt more soap so we can fill in more of this mold. Okay, I am seeing that our reindeer has paws, and so while I've got the brown melted, I'm gonna go ahead and fill in those spots too. And this here is what we should be left with, and you can see I wish I would have done the nose darker, but that's okay. Now I'm gonna take the gold glitter, and I'm gonna add that to the clear glycerin soap, because there are flat areas that are around the reindeer's face, which would be the center, I guess, of the wreath, and so, I'm gonna do that gold, and so look at how pretty that gold is. It's like a metallic finish. While I have the gold out, this was gonna be the center of my poinsettia, and this is the deepest part of this mold, so I'm gonna go ahead and place the gold in the center of the poinsettia, and I'm also, again, like I said, going to place it on these flat areas here next to the reindeer's face, and you can see that I'm just kind of brushing it on with the transfer tube as if it was a paintbrush. There's nothing to really fill in, but I wanted this area to be gold. Since I had a bunch of red left and the gold part of the poinsettia has solidified, I'm gonna remelt the red and go ahead and put that where the red parts of the poinsettia would be. Believe it or not, we're almost done with these soap bars. Now I'm moving on to the green because that is the next highest area, the next section, I guess, of my reindeer mold that needs to be done. And it's the next section of the poinsettia mold as well. And so I'm working by color as I build up 
And for this, I did use the clear glycerin soap, added a couple dots or drips of the green, realized it wasn't dark enough, so I'm gonna go back and add just a bit more. It really is your preference as to how dark or light you want your soap to be. And I wanted mine to be a darker green for the leaves. And so using my transfer tube, I'm gonna go ahead and use that to fill in the leaves of my wreath, the holly leaves for the reindeer mold. With the poinsettia, I originally started by transferring the green soap with the transfer tube, but then I started to realize that the rest of the bar of the soap, this bar of soap was going to be green. And so I decided just to melt down a bit more of the green in the bowl and just pour it in. And I did decide to go ahead and finish the reindeer soap off with the brown white soap that I had colored brown. And as I did this, I was trying to set this in a way that it wouldn't spill so it could solidify. And you can see here that as I did it, it spilled and that was so stinking frustrating to me because it did alter the outcome of this soap. But I went ahead and let these dry anyway. The poinsettia is completely solidified and you can see the back, had I had some isopropyl alcohol, the back would have been a bit different, but it is what it is. You can see just by putting a bit of pressure on the mold that the soap is going to pop right out and you are going to be left with a gorgeous soap. Look at how pretty this one came out. This is only like the fourth bar of soap I've ever done with this subscription box. And so now I'm gonna go ahead and do the reindeer and I will show you that the colors kind of mixed because it spilled, which again was very frustrating to me, but you can see in the end that I did let it solidify and the outcome wasn't horrendous. It wasn't as good as it could have been, but you can see how the colors bled and kind of mixed because the hot soap melted the soap that was in there and it came out. But I did end up redoing the reindeer and I'll show you that in a second, but I think that these are really fun bars of soap to do. I love this subscription box. And here you can see that I redid the reindeer using uh, the white soap because there was quite a bit of the white soap left over and I had a great outcome with this one. I think all in all, this is a really great DIY soap box and it makes for a really great gift to give. Now that was fun and I'd say that it was a lot easier this time than it was the first time because I really learned how to work with the soap. I learned what to do, what not to do. And boy oh boy, I love this subscription box. If you're interested in receiving one of these subscription boxes or even gifting one this Christmas, because Christmas may look a bit different for some of us, and we may be doing Christmas with our family from a distance, and this would be an awesome gift to mail. You can find the link to Craftica in this subscription box in my description box below. I hope you all enjoyed today's soap DIY subscription box. I had fun doing it. Please make sure to give this video a big thumbs up, and let's get this video to 5,000 likes because like I always say, and I know I sound like a broken record, but each and every one of your thumbs up and those comments that you leave down below, they really do help my channel to grow and it helps YouTube to notice me just a bit more. Until next time, everybody, I hope you have a fantastic day. Happy crafting on a budget. Stay happy, stay safe, stay healthy, but most of all, stay positive. Bye for now, everybody.